Okay, so welcome back to a new video. In this video, hopefully, we'll be mounting the rotisserie we got. So while I was at work yesterday, my dad went and picked one up. Um, it did come just not painted like this. So that's how they keep their costs down, apparently. So I need to paint these bits. These bits are mounted last, I'm pretty sure, along with these long bits. So they can be painted last. I've done stuff like this. Yep. Got our instructions. Nothing. I can just mount all the all, supposedly I can just mount all this stuff first. So I'll quickly uncover the mini and yeah, once it. Okay, so you're given this big old thing of nuts, bolts and washers. I'm just gonna tip them in there so it's easy access. So what I think is I need one of these through there through there with space at the bottom on the bottom and then probably the locking nut then this to go on this bolt there which will then out to that down there hopefully I don't actually know I'm just guessing at this point. Okay, so what I've just found, these bolts are stopping it from going down, obviously. So, and I think to get them out, I have to take this out. But to take this out, I have to do these bolts. And they're the sheared off bolts. You have to cut a slot in to get into them, but they're so tight. I had to cut the other one off that was holding this on because I couldn't actually undo it. What it tells you to do to get them bolts off the or whatever the sheer nut, sheer bolts, or whatever it says you have to cut a groove in and then use a flat head to get it out. I did this on the other one. I broke like four flat heads doing it. It's just, I don't know how to do it properly. But I've put in the rear just to, yeah. So there's this bit which bolts into the top here, and then onto this main bit which goes into the shock. These, these bolts were being a pain, they wouldn't line up. I've, I don't know, it's probably bent this up here to put it in, but yeah, that is solid now. I guess now I've got to put the front in. Oh, I've got to take this off. Yeah, I know. I'll come back when that's off. Okay, so I've managed to destroy it enough to where that now sits down below the actual thing. So I should in theory, should in theory be able to put that on there. So the front one's a lot easier to bolt in 
I just need to put these on there, I'm pretty sure. Um, and that will be both done. Okay, so these are now dangling. Um, it's not the, it's not them holes, it's that big hole. And they actually put the, they put some bigger washers to stop it from going on. It's actually turning out to be quite hard to do with one person. But, oh well, let's keep on going. Okay, that is now them supports installed. Use a smaller bolt on that one. With one of their big washers. You can see it's kind of already pulling the washer through the hole. Okay, so I know this is the front one. Well, I think I know it's the front one because it has this. And that's where you put the pin through, which stops it rolling. I've put the other one at the back with the legs on. What you do need is one of these, which attaches to one of the leg things. And then this is the connector bar, which goes in the middle. So yeah, this one with two holes at that end. With, and then these, these little short bolts is the like, locking thing. Then you have this, this is the link bar. It has two holes which connect to the hoop, two holes on these. <laughs> or just slide either way. And then this can be however long you want. Okay, so it's going to be attached up to there. So yeah. Okay, so oh, I think I wasn't recording that time lapse bit, but I've basically installed the front bit. That's bolted on there. I have no idea if it's done correctly. With the slots on here, you can move it, adjust it. So that's level now, so I've adjusted it where that can just go in. So on that notch, it will be level. Um, put in one end of the link middle bar. But one annoying thing is my car is right next to the edge. So I'm probably not going to be able to install it like this. I might have to jack up the rear, move it while it... Oh, that's such a bad idea. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so my dad's not coming back until, like, five. I thought it would have come back for lunch, but so I've got to figure out how to move the shell forward. Now it's attached to the rollers on the front. So I'm thinking, could I jack this up, remove the jacks, lay it down on there, unlock the two locked wheels, roll it, lock them quickly, so it's enough for this to move forward and then I jack the back up and attach it. I don't know if I'm gonna try it. I'll try and get footage of it. So. Okay, so at the front, that is now fully supported by that. That's not supported by the jack stands now. Now I can um, put that long one on the trolley and I can lower the back onto the trolley, move this back enough to me put, to put the rear on. Now hopefully that works and just doesn't just destroy the car. But yeah, exciting. So I've taken the middle bit out. I've now trying to line up that 
a trolley thing. I think it needs to be, the front needs to be put in this way a bit more. This way. Um, yeah. Moving that, I could get the steering. Not steering. The shifter rod change thing. But yeah. I'll put a stick underneath to stop that moving. I'll quickly line it up again and then I'll move the jack. I need to jack this up to this height. So you see, that bolt hole needs to go in, I think, that one. I've got a wall. I've now moved the actual leg thing into position just so I get an idea how far up I need to go. Okay, so I'm on the final bit now. I've just got about that into there. I pulled it forward, it shifted to lift that up. That was scary, because that moves. I've now got to somehow push these wheels under a bit more. Maybe if I stood on that. Oh, I don't know. So scary. I'm not gonna lie, this is so scary. I'm, I'm, I'm basically sitting under the car, trying to put that in. That one's in, so in theory, it shouldn't be able to move, because them wheels are locked. They don't have, they didn't come with locks. I'm gonna quickly tighten up them. Actually, I need to get that in. I need to like lift it and put it through. And then it would be done. Oh. I've still got these under, just in case. Let me get the other bolt.
No, both of them are in. And the front and the back are now attached. I'm gonna tighten these bolts so everything is tight. And I'm gonna try and let down the jack. And probably watch it roll down the hill. Ugh. Give it a like. I don't know. But yeah. See you in the next video. Okay. So from where we left off, that was I finished my by myself, and then my dad came home to have a look. And what we saw is that we installed this upside down. So what we had it, we had this bit, this bar at the bottom down here on both ends so it was sitting low and the roof would have hit it was also really off balance so I couldn't actually turn it over so what we did the, the night before we put jack stands back down we lifted it, took the bolts up and dropped it onto the jacks and flipped it up and used some things we got with it they're like um, lifters which you attach onto here and onto here and it just it just like, pulls them together lifts this up because it was down here lifts it up so this is now on both sides yeah and also when I was trying to lift it up by myself and everything I still had all the doors in and stuff I should have taken that out and everything so it's all out now yeah, but no, have a look at this, pull the pin out, I, I wanna, I should have something to slot the pin in, somewhere, but, if I can just, See you in the next video, actually.